Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Welcome to this episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. So honored to have you here. Thank you. Now, you may be thinking, Reiki, this is my calling. It is my calling to serve others with Reiki, and I want to turn this into a career. But what do I do? What's my first step to get started and get certified? Well, if this is you, I want to say congratulations and blessings to your calling. We know how powerful Reiki is. We know how beneficial it is. And we get excited to help others with Reiki as well. So welcome, glad to have you and to share in the excitement and enthusiasm with you. The first thing I want to encourage you to do is to always, always, always check the regulations and requirements of your state and your local laws. So always, always, always make sure that you are checking for the requirements and regulations, not only of your state, but of your local area too. Because Reiki is largely unregulated, which means that by and large, for most U.S.-based Reiki businesses, by and large, Reiki is not regulated, which means that there is nothing special that you need in order to uh, quote-unquote get certified because there's no official Reiki certification. And so by and large, you don't have to worry about too many state or local regulations. However, there are indeed state regulations and there are indeed local regulations. And so while Reiki is first and foremost not regulated on the federal level, Reiki is not regulated on the federal level, nor will it really ever be because regulations really take place on the state level. And so um, there is really no concern for Reiki being federally regulated because regulation is very much a state by state kind of thing. Um, so really, there's no need to figure out, oh, no, I need to figure out federal regulations. No, you don't. <laughs> you just need to look at your state regulations. And I will save you some effort and tell you that by and large, there are no state regulations of Reiki. However, we know that always this is subject to change, and we know that always regulation is in the works on the state level. So please make sure that you are checking the regulations of your state. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know all the business of all 50 states. So whether or not your state has any Reiki regulation, I am not going to claim to know that definitively. I do know that Florida does, and I do know that in order to practice hands-on Reiki in Florida, you need to have a massage license. But most states are not like Florida, and most states do not have any regulations attached to Reiki. Again, please check with your own individual state. Standing Stones Healing Company cannot be held liable for any errors and omissions in this podcast. <laughs> but um, check with your state. Now, 
We also know that regulation can, does, and has happened on local levels. And so what that means is that just because your state doesn't have any Reiki regulations does not mean that your local area does not. So please also check with your local area. Now, the chances of this are smaller, but it doesn't mean that they're non-existent. So please make sure that you are checking local regulations as well. But this is where I want to encourage you to check first, because what you don't want to have happen is that you don't want to jump into building a Reiki business only to find out that, oh no, you need some uh, licensing that you didn't know you had to have. Oh no, you need some certification that you didn't know you had to have. So let's say that you wanted to start a business in Florida and you started with your Reiki business, maybe you rented a space, maybe you uh, wanted to start seeing clients, and uh uh-oh, ribbon-cutting day, you find out that you need to be a massage therapist in order to see Reiki clients in person? What? Holy cow. And by the way, becoming a massage therapist requires thousands of dollars in education and training, hours and hours of work and certification and continuing education credits. And so, holy cow, there goes your Reiki business model. So I want to encourage you to always make sure at the outset of your Reiki business endeavors to be checking your local laws and regulations. Now, this is where also having an idea of your Reiki business model is going to be beneficial. And so what that means is that if your Reiki business model is, for instance, creating and selling Reiki-infused jewelry, then you don't have to worry about that hands-on massage therapy requirement in Florida because you're not doing any hands-on work with clients. Your Reiki business is all about creating Reiki products and selling them. That is still a Reiki business, just not one that um, works with clients in a hands-on capacity. And so Having an idea of your Reiki business model is really helpful when you are reviewing regulations and what you can and cannot do. Let's say, for instance, that your Reiki business uh, ideal is to sell Reiki-infused food. (laughs) Maybe your business is um, Reiki Cakes is your business, and you run a bakery and you want to just sell Reiki Cakes. You want to bake the cakes, you want to infuse them with Reiki, and that is your Reiki business model. Your business is Reiki Cakes. Well, you're going to need to have some licensing for selling food. So knowing that that's what you want in terms of your Reiki business and having an idea of your Reiki business model is going to be really helpful for you in determining which regulations are going to impact your Reiki business because not all of them will depending upon your Reiki business model. So definitely check, check, check regulations on a local and state level. So, um, you know, I also want to encourage you that when you are looking to turn your passion into a business, that there is a lot to consider. And there's a lot that you don't know, and there's a lot that you don't know that you don't know. And this is not your fault. (laughs) It's not your fault if you have no clue about what it takes to start a business in terms of all of the stuff that you've got to figure out. 
but you just know that you are passionate about and enthusiastic about Reiki and sharing it with others and helping and serving others. But there is a lot to know, and there's a lot that we don't know. This is actually why I started the Build Your Reiki Business podcast and why I created the Build Your Reiki Business program, because there really is so much that we don't know. Um, And so there's so much to say on where to start when you are looking to turn your calling into a career. One thing I want to encourage you on is that, um, you know, we can feel very passionate and enthusiastic at at the outset. And we can want to dive right in and we can want to quit our job and just start with our Reiki business full time. And this can indeed be an exciting thing. And it's not necessarily the best decision for you as you are starting your Reiki business. And so in addition to encouraging you to consider your Reiki business model and to check always your local and state laws and regulations, I also want to encourage you to recognize that It's not something that you have to jump into all at once, that you can indeed take your time with learning about these topics, with diving in, and to take your time with building your Reiki business, because building a Reiki business does take time. And while I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't really sound very sexy for me to say, hey, you know, you are really passionate and enthusiastic and you want to jump in head first. This is your calling. It really doesn't sound very appealing or sexy or maybe even what people want to hear to say, it's okay to take your time. <laughs> it's okay to slow down and it's okay to stoke those fires of passion without having to throw gas on the fire. And um, without having to um, go into work the next day, give your boss the F you finger and um, quit in a blaze of glory to start your Reiki business. You don't have to do that. Now, if you want to do that right on, go right ahead, but you don't have to. And it doesn't mean that you are any less passionate about Reiki. And it doesn't mean that you're any less passionate about serving others. It means that there's a lot to consider when you are turning your passion into a business, when you feel that you are called to start a Reiki business and want to get started. It is called build your Reiki business because it really is all about the building. And so I want to encourage you that when you find as you are diving in and you're feeling maybe overwhelmed with all of the stuff that there is to learn, because yes, there is a lot to learn. And yes, if you are new to business stuff, there is a lot that you don't know. And that's okay. That's not your fault. Um, But um, when you get into it, and you have those feelings of being lost and confused, know that you are not alone. Know that this is part of starting a business and part of starting a Reiki business. And so as you build your Reiki business, you will have fewer feelings of being lost and confused, and you will have less confusion. But Absolutely, it is normal and common and expected that as you dive in, you are going to have lots and lots of questions. You know, your Reiki business journey is just like your Reiki journey. It is your own. And so I encourage you not to compare it to anyone else's, just like I encourage us not to compare our Reiki journey to anyone else's. But your Reiki business will unfold in its own time, and there's no rush to any of it. It will unfold in the way that it is meant to, in the time that it is meant to. And it is just like an unfolding flower. 
it can't be ripped open. It will open up in its own time and it will reveal layer upon layer in its own time. So I'm very excited for you. I'm excited for your passion. I'm excited for Reiki as your calling. And I want to bring it down to the practical first and foremost for you and encourage you to determine that Reiki business model, consider those Reiki business questions and to check those Reiki business requirements and regulations in your state and in your local area. Now, there's so much more to say on this topic. That's why I got a whole podcast on it. Um, and that's why I've got the Reiki Business Collective group as well. So if you have not already, I want to encourage you to join the Reiki Business Collective Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Reiki Biz. And I also want to encourage you to get the free Reiki Biz kit full of Reiki business information. So that is there to assist you along with this podcast at standingstoneshealing.com slash Reiki Biz Kit. Yes, it is free. So I am sending you so many blessings and so many best wishes to your calling. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.